Hey YouTube, what's going on? Malicious Intent coming at you with another video today. It's going to be something a little different. I decided to jump on the bandwagon and just pick up one of these, no more than that. Um, I usually, as most of you know by now, um, purchase my cards as singles. I don't really have a trade binder. I have some stuff left, like a couple hundred dollars worth of stuff left that I'm trying to trade off. Well, actually $300 worth of stuff left that I'm trying to trade off straight up for two... Um, fantastical dragon phantasmes um, but I so other other than that I usually only pick up singles for the deck that I need sell a whole deck at a time pick up a new deck with that money plus whatever other funds I require but I decided you know what because this set is so decent like you can either pull $20 spend 40 to have fun opening the box and pull $20 or you can pull your money back or you can do even better than that and I've been watching a lot of videos online Normally people are doing two of these at a time, but I didn't want to drop 80 bucks on this set because I don't really need anything from it. I have the hand traps, I have the impermanences, I have the evenly matched. I don't really need the other stuff for playing True Draco. Um, I don't even really need the impermanences for playing True Draco. That's part of what I'm trading to try and get those fantasticals. Um, but without further ado here, uh, let's just get into this. My first and only, most likely, dual power I will be purchasing. Right. I know there's a bunch of reprints of cards in this, so we're going to actually open that small pack as well. Because I want the Stardust Dragon, but I know there's other other reprints in here. So let's just get right into opening this pack of reprints. We've got Alternate Art Dark Magician. Alti Art Elemental Hero Neos. Alti Art Stardust Dragon, which is the one I'm deciding I want to keep out of all of these. Don't really need anything else. Then we have Alti Art number 39, Utopia. The alternate art, Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. These look pretty nice, actually, now that I'm getting to see them in person. Like, I've watched a couple of videos, and most people haven't opened this small pack. One or two did, but I skipped that part because I wanted to open it for myself, thinking I was going to buy one or two of them. That's a really nice deco talker. I might keep this deco talker since the value is not going to be too high on it. All right, let's get right into these packs. Wish me luck. Uh, by seeing the videos I've seen, I know that the middle card is usually the prize card, so let's just throw that to the back here. And we pulled the Preda Plant, Double Hero Attack, Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Bane, not bad. Necro's Kaleidoscope. Sorry about the lighting here. I still haven't bought a um, camera to make these videos. I like a good camera. I'm still using a cell phone for these. But I don't mind as long as y'all don't mind until I decide to buy one. We got Security Dragon. That was our main pull. The Security. Pack number two. Again, I put that middle card to the back. We got Necro's Mirror. We pull the Utopia Onomatopoeia. Heretic Dragon Tefnuit. That was not bad. I haven't seen that pull a lot. XYG Change Tactics. And oh man, the Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring. Pull one of the money cards in the set. I believe this right now is sitting at between 8 and $9. Um, it dropped as low as 7 but I think it went back up to 9 Which is cool because the common was 9 before this came out. And I did trade two um, Ultra Rare First Ed. Ash Blossoms, um, I'm pretty sure I mentioned that in a previous video, but I traded two of those off to get uh, towards an infinite impermanence trade at the Toronto Regional. So I'm glad I got one back. Ash Blossom. It's pack number three, I believe. Again, middle, right to the back. Double or nothing. A Quintet Magician. Shadal Construct. I've heard that wasn't that good. I haven't read it yet, but I'm, I've heard that wasn't useful. Deco Destruction. And the rare card for that pack was Arrow Mage Jasmine. Pack four. Got another Preda Plant. Another Double Hero Attack. Ooh, a Star Star Scepter. I actually love Star Star Scepter in the chair. I used to play, um, basically when it was still tier one, I was playing 
So Tellers. And I, one of my two builds had the Scepters and Chairs, and I love them. Scepter Sovereignty. Uh, two Dark Magician Girl. And even though I know this is only $8, still a really good pull for the set. Now that's Ash Blossom and Card of Demise. Same box. Beautiful. Haven't made our, made it, ah, sorry. Haven't made our money back yet, but we're working towards it. And regardless, I wouldn't care anymore because I got the Ashman and the Card of Demise. I already got my playset Card of Demises, obviously, because I play True Dracos. Um, but it's nice to have a fourth, and maybe I just get rid of my more expensive ones and keep this one. Who knows? So we got Ancient Gear Golem Ultimate Pound for the second last pack opening. Ooh, an Atum. Beautiful. Ooh, an El Shadal Construct. I am loving this box. Even if um, what I'm pulling doesn't have value. I got Construct. I got a Tefnuit. Got an Autumn. Got the Card Demise. It's been a pretty good pull so far. Stardust Wish. The only thing I would pull now in my last pack, the only thing I would want, obviously, outside of Impermanence and Evenly Matched, is I'd like to see a Ghost Ogre. Because I traded those away to get my Impermanence as well. And then, second Security Dragon. So in two of the six packs, I pulled two Security Dragons as the apparent good card. I'm not sure if it'll ever be used. It's an extender at best. Soul Pendulum. Oh, nice. A High Priest is a prophecy. I know... Spellbooks aren't that great anymore, but that's a cool pull. Chaos Form. Necro's Kaleidoscope. And oh my shit. <sighs> Second Ash Blossom. Let's just prove that that exists right now. Get these out of the way. So the pulls for the one and only box I'm most likely buying, even still after these good pulls, I'm still only buying the one box. Oh. Like, I actually like Pretty Plant. I don't run Super Poly. I have the option to run Super Poly. I just don't. Um, I don't think the Necro's spells have any value to them. And I think Heart... Yeah, this is not Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss. Abyss might have value. It was like 50 bucks before this reprint. Um, it went up. It's used in a lot of combo decks. Um, so yeah, technically, if they were to go up in value after this set... You know, stops being so relevant, not relevant, stops being available everywhere is what I'm trying to say. Then maybe the Necros cards will go up in value. But um, I pulled two Kaleidoscopes, a Necros Mirror for the Necros cards. Didn't pull any Necros Rituals. But I pulled a Star Surf Scepter. No value to it, but I still love that combo. Double Ash Blossom Joyous Spring. A Card of Demise. The Atum I know is common in this, but I still like it. A Shadal Construct. So that's basically the pulls I got for this. I, I might have made my money back. Like, right now, again, this is at 8 or 9. Let's just call it 9 for the sake of this video. That's 9, 18, 24. I pulled 25 and spent 40. So it's not good right now. Um, again, once these stop becoming so readily available, these sets, perhaps the Ash Blossoms, you might see those go back up in price. Maybe this Ash Blossom reaches as high as $12 or $14. If it does, I don't think it'll breach 15 but 12 or $14. If it does get that high, then we've almost made our money back with this. Card Demise, same thing. Before the, this reprint, Card Demise's cheapest rarity was still like 18 American, 16 American. So it was still just over 20 bucks. Most people often go for 20 cash. But they were just over 20 bucks. so maybe when this becomes less readily available, they might go up in price again. And maybe this Card Demise might see 8 bucks. These see 14, this sees 8. I've made my money back on the box between that and all the other cards here. The only other card I think I'd really be keeping is I'd keep for myself one copy of the Preta Plant. And I think the rest of it just goes into the Trade Binder. Again, with Tree Draco and no real deck on the horizon that I'm looking to build that would be Tier 1. Um, with that in mind, I don't really need anything else in that pile and don't really need anything that's left in my trade binder um, until I see some, a new tier 1 deck come out. Um, I'm pretty interested in Evil Eye, I'm not going to lie, but because I missed the opportunity to pick that up, I didn't really see how good the deck could become, even though it's still probably only a tier 2 deck just now. Um, like, it wrecks, for example, Thunder Dragons. So, until... Like, I wanted to get that early, and I missed my opportunity to get it all early, so now it's like, some of the cards are over $20 for Evil Eye, 
So outside of Evil Eye, I don't, there's no real deck in the format that I'd consider building, especially since um, Sky Striker has been relevant for the last year. So that might get hit on this ban list or the next ban list. Thunder Dragon might not be hit itself, but the dangers most likely will be hit between this and maybe even the next three. Well, between this and the next two lists. So by the end of the year, it, uh, the dangers might have been hit or crippled for that matter. So there's nothing I really want to buy. Um, I did want to invest in Thunder Dragon, but as most of you know, I can't, I've only started playing about six, maybe even seven months ago now, maybe even as much as eight months ago now, actually, and um, I, I just came too late in the game to consider investing in Sky Strikers or Thunder Dragon. I wish I did invest in Thunder Dragon, probably could have got the deck for like $300 and then had to buy outside of that, had to buy the Danger Engine separately but again i came in far too late and i don't trust the konami with the ban list even though thunder dragon isn't topping events so uh like and subscribe if you sorry i said that incorrectly like if you like this video subscribe if you really liked it tell our Yu-Gi-Oh friends and uh, we'll see you next time most likely with a deck profile um i might be going to the offshore regional i believe it's this month so you'll probably see a Osho Regional deck profile for True Dracos and tournament report. Until then, peace off.